What's going on guys? Chad back here with you on the RC Models and More channel and today we're going to be going in a different direction. We're going to be looking at the Mono Price Maker Select V2 3D printer. 3D printing, yeah. Um, with the recent Martian build that I did for FPV and all the other stuff I do with multi rotors and even DJI products and stuff like that. You know, I've spent hundreds of dollars on 3D prints um, and some stuff I realized that I could never design myself and everything like that and I'm fully happy paying for those awesome products uh, like my Brain 3D uh, session mount that I have. But it's just one of those things that you just kind of are drawn into when you're in certain aspects of the hobby and you're a creator and a maker and everything else like that. Uh, the price of these things are so ridiculous now and after a couple conversations uh, with some people I know and uh, a family member that actually teaches uh, and works in, uh, in a school that uses a lot of these uh, maker types of setups uh, he recommended it to me and I uh, picked one up and it's already uh, beginning to pay for itself so uh, let's uh, take a look at the actual printer here and show you what we got going on so this is the printer itself it, you look at any YouTube video out there you'll see that it comes mostly assembled you have basically four bolts that you have to connect to here in the back when you slide the bed through the gantry assembly you have the power supply over here on the side it comes with a standard 3d print attached to it already that shows what has been printed on your printer before you get it and after you get everything assembled and you start messing around with the bed leveling and everything you can take the SD card that is inside pop that in there and you can print off one of the sample prints that are included my sample print was a swan which didn't turn out too bad now this is an open source project runs off g-code which is a certain type of file so if you're taking most of the designs off of Thingiverse they are in an STL format so what you'll have to do is you have to download another program load the Thingiverse objects into it and then after making some adjustments inside that program to work with your specific printer you spit out a file called g-code and then you just put that on an SD card and stick it right in the side of the power supply and away you go printing now there's all kinds of information out there about this which is one of the reasons why I got it because I didn't want to be left with the product and be struggling now I can show you that I've had this less than a day and I pulled an item off a of thing averse after doing some basic leveling and messing around and stuff like that and I wanted to print a uh, battery holder for the top of my Martian and this right here was the first example not very good as you can see real brittle just not good at all but after watching a couple hours on YouTube and doing some more refinements to the settings inside the slicer program, I ended up with this, which is almost perfect besides a few little leveling issues that I had on the bed. And I started making some more tweaks earlier today and uh, started printing again and kind of left it stopped the print like halfway just because I was just kind of working out some flaws in the printer 
One of the great things about this is that there's just so many modifications that you can do for basically nothing because you print most of them out and you can also buy a lot of cheap hardware. So I'm going to be working on things to shore up the leveling with the springs. I'm going to be doing a MOSFET power supply uh, upgrade which runs around nine bucks and some wire that I already have. And also a print out with some threaded rods and some nuts to shore up the gantry up there so it doesn't shake as much and everything so there's going to be uh, lots of videos coming up on this the next few weeks on the channel but I just wanted to say that it's pretty amazing that within a couple hours you can go from box to actually printing out something that you would have paid ten fifteen dollars for plus five dollars in shipping it is pretty amazing so go ahead and uh, like the video, subscribe, stick around, and there's going to be a lot more on this coming up. So we'll talk to you guys later.